Dear students, welcome to my channel. Main topic of this video is indexing and scoring in information system and subtopic is suffixed automation that is BDM algorithm for sequential search. Now let us start. Sequential searching is preferred when text is small, very volatile, not processed and index space overhead is not afforded. It is used for text searching when no data structure has been built on the text. The problem of exact string matching is given a short pattern p of length m and long text t of length n find all the text position where the pattern occurs popular sequential search algorithms used in information retrieval are as below i have already published the videos on first five algorithms now in this video i am going to explain suffixed automation that is bdm algorithm backward dawg that is bdm algorithm is based on suffixed automata where DWAG means directed acyclic word graph. A suffix automaton is a deterministic finite automata that recognizes all suffixes of a given pattern. It is a powerful tool for solving string related problems such as pattern matching, counting substrings and finding the longest common substring. BDM algorithm is uses suffixed automata of the pattern to find all occurrences of pattern in a given text. It is one of the fastest pattern matching algorithm with an average time <coughs> with an average case time complexity of O of n into log of sigma m divided by m where n is the length of the text, m is the length of the pattern and sigma is the size of the alphabet. Two steps are there. First is construction and second is pattern matching. Now here we require to make the construction of suffixed automata and suffixed automata is nothing but the minimized DFA. So even DFA will work, minimize, minimize DFA is optional, but we require to first find out the suffixes and based on that suffixes, we require to design first DFA, then pattern matching with suffixed automata. To find all occurrences of pattern P in text, the BDM algorithm first construct the suffixed automata of P that is uh, generally constructed in first phase that is a construction of the suffix automata then in the matching case it only simulates the suffix automata on t so when we solve the problem these things are very much clear each time the automata enters a terminal state it indicates the occurrence of the pattern applications of bdm algorithm is there for text processing that is searching index and a compression which is used in information retrieval but other than information retrieval it is used in bioinformatics to find out the pattern in DNA RNA as well as in natural language processing for example part of speech tagging and name entity recognition and machine translation now here <coughs> to understand this video the knowledge of NFA and DFA is required this is deterministic so we have to final step should be in DFA or minimize DFA and the variation of this algorithm is NBDM where we are accepting the non-deterministic finite automata. So when particular string and pattern is given, first we require to design a suffixed automata based on the pattern. So first either we can start with directly DFA and minimization DFA is optional step. On the second is we can go for NFA and from the NFA we can construct the DFA. Now the text is given and the pattern is given the length of the pattern is seven characters so first we make the reverse of the pattern reverse of the pattern is b a a p b a a so we first make the reverse of the pattern and from that reverse of the pattern we find out the suffixes so suffixes can be a a a b a a b b a a like this so we are finding out the all suffixes of the reverse of the pattern so this algorithm is going from right to left now here <coughs> We are designing the DFA in such a way that it is accepting all these uh, strings. For example, A accepting, A A accepting, B A A accepting. So in this way, this DFA is accepting all the suffix of the reverse of the pattern. Now we can we see the working of the algorithm. So here three pointers are used. First is last, then I and J. FS is final state, NFS is not final state and one is non-reachable state. Now based on final state, non-final state and non-reachable we require to uh, modify the J uh, last pointer and based on last pointer our I pointer is also going to change. Now in pattern 7 characters are there so we are taking that all 
first seven characters from the text so first characters first seven characters from the text are a b b a b a a now here first initially last is equal to 7 i equal to 1 and j equal to 7 now when we see the first character from the right hand side a it is reaches to the final state so when it reaches to the final state we are decrementing the last so last becomes 6 in the next step last becomes 6 and i equal to 1 j equal to 6 because j is decremented because now we are seeing the pattern a a then a a is also reaches to the final state when it reaches to the final state we are decrementing the last pointer that becomes 5 next last becomes 5 and when i equal to 1 j equal to 5 we are taking the three uh, characters that is a a b if we see a a b it is reaches to the fourth state which is non final so we are not decrementing the last pointer now next is last is again 5 now it is j4 a a b a now see a a b a now from b there is no path for a so it is a non reachable so when non reachable comes at that time we stuck and we require to reset the pointers so resetting pointers in such a way that last becomes 7 and i becomes 1 plus last that is equal to 6 now here only the statements are uh, we have to write down last after this first we require to update i value based on the previous last value so previous last value is 5 so 1 plus 5 is equal to 6 and after that we are making the last as a 7 now last is again become 7 now i become 6 now from the 6th location to next 7 characters we have to pick so 6 locations to next 7 characters so b comes now first we require to check the b is going to the final or non-final or non-reachable b is going to the non-final state so non-final state last is not decremented so for example for the third time when b a a comes that is b a a it reaches to the final state so here we are not decrementing the last by only one but last by three that is one two and three so it is seven minus three equal to four next we are doing the same things with only last modification now here non-final state non-final state non-final state so from the previous that is from this after that final state will comes after one two three four so last will decremented by four so this one two three and four and here also one two and three and here one two three and four so last becomes zero when last becomes zero the pattern gets patched so in this way we are using the BDM algorithm now we will see the next example this is a text pattern is given x x y x we take the reverse of the pattern and suffix of the reverse pattern are x x x y x x x y x x based on this all four suffixes we are designing the dfa or minimized dfa in such a way that all this suffix pattern goes to the final state so x x x y x x x y x x now we'll see the algorithm <coughs> now four patterns so we are taking the first four characters we are going from right to left so first x match final state decrement the last non-final state non-final state and then final state so one two three so we are decrementing last by three so three minus three is zero so last becomes zero the pattern got match and we can see that x x x x x y x is match so at that time we are incrementing the i by one because it may happen that next from here also pattern got match so i becomes two and again last becomes four then we take this as the next character two three four five because i becomes two so first character match second character match non-reachable when non-reachable comes we are resetting all the pointers so last becomes four and before last become four we are incrementing i is equal to i plus last so i is 2 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 so in this way it is start with the fourth character next time so fourth fifth sixth seventh so here again reachable that is sorry final state non reachable we again reset then after that i start with 7 so we are taking the character 7 8 9 10 reach uh, here it is final state again non reachable because of t again we reset last to the 4 and next time again this pattern comes and we are getting first final state n n n so when here f we require to decrement this last by 3 so we are getting again 0 
the pattern got match so in this way the bdm algorithm works so it is very easy only it is important that pre processing is required and in pre processing we require to create the dfa of the pattern now see the last example the text is geo gs genus genius and a pattern is genius length of m is equal to 5 we take the reverse of the pattern which is s u n g e then we can determine the suffix g e g n e g u n e g and s u n e g and based on that we first design the dfa or either minimize dfa so this is s u n e g accepting u then g is accepting e g is accepting n e g is accepting u n e g accepting s u n e g is accepting so after that we require to start with the length of the pattern is 5 so we require to start with the fifth location 1 2 3 4 5 so we will take the first pattern g e o g s now s is matching or no it is reaching to the non final state so non final state we are not decrementing the 5 so lost becomes 5 only next is from s to g non reachable so again we are resetting all the pointers now i will start with the sixth so six to last uh, five characters we are keeping and here if we can see that non reachable non reachable one two three four five at last when it becomes sorry this is final state just to make the change because s s u n e g is a final state so just to make the changes here that here it is a final state so when it reaches to the final state we are subtracting last by 1 2 3 4 and 5 and last becomes 0 and pattern got match so in this way the bdm algorithm works with the uh, deterministic finite automata of the pattern so these are the references for the video thank you